Alright, looks like we're gonna be flying in the I wing, the Y wing again. Let's talk to Flash and Gunny before we go to the briefing room. All I'm saying is, instead of blowing up that listening post, we should have commandeered it. Imagine the kind of fun we could have had messing with the Imperials, <laughs> or the credits we could make. Uh, as your squad leader, I'm gonna pretend I didn't just hear that. <laughs> Come on, Gunny. You telling me the New Republic couldn't use more intel? And you know war ain't cheap. Actually, that's a good point. I guess once you steal a Star Destroyer, everything Imperial starts to look tempting. You know, we used to be rebels. We turn into a legit Republic, and suddenly we all gotta stay on the straight and narrow. The Commander's lining up a trap for Teresa Carroll. That's mm -hmm. not enough of a con for you? <laughs> In the old days, from the land, just from that listening post, which is part one of that trap. But I guess this will do. Plan, and this is going to be the trap plan. This is going to be the official point, actually. All right, we just get to see what George got for us. I'm going to make sure there's no one else I need to talk to. All right, let's head to the briefing room. Alright, I guess we're just gonna start it right up. Hey, Frisk. First, congratulations. Because you captured the Star Destroyer Victorum, our mm -hmm. Starhawk prototype has been completed ahead of schedule. Nice. But the Empire does not know that. They believe it's still under construction. Okay, let's Carol keep it that keep way, too. Starhawk until it's destroyed. And we've been assigned to stop her. So, using that decoy message I sent, we're going to set up an ambush. The false intel stated that you're protecting a shipment of magnite crystals essential to completing the Starhawk. Magnite crystals. With this bait, we'll draw Teresa and the Overseer deep into the Xavian Abyss, a highly volatile area of space. Here is where we set our trap. Don't worry about the convoy. It's empty and droid piloted. However, that does mean you'll need to clear any obstructions from its path. Vanguard, I want you to defend that convoy with everything you've got. We need to make this look good. Your destination is escorting. There, the Starhawk will be waiting to disable the Overseer, and hopefully, capture Teresa. Now it might sound simple, but nothing is. Ooh, simple. so this is the first mission with Project Starhawk. Oh, this is gonna be really interesting. All right, Lyndon, what do you got for us? And Starhawk's crew. More than ready. I selected the crew personally based on their expertise and experience. They've been training for months. That's good. I appreciate your support on this, General. It's a this is the force missing. Hope they Just do well. And I'm pretty sure they I know will. you have a past with the Overseer's Captain. Don't let it cloud your judgment. One moment, General. Sorry. I can't talk right now. Your squadron is waiting. Alright. Sorry to um, interrupt with your little... Um, a little talk there. Or do what you got for us? If Lyndon's right, this plan could knock Teresa Carroll off our tail. The sooner the better, if you ask me. Lyndon's convinced himself that he's put us in danger. <sighs> mm. Can't make him focus on the bigger picture while Teresa's still in it. The commander's a smart man, but everyone has someone who can push their buttons. I think this is more like a cat and mouse game right at the point. We'll give Teresa a harmless convoy to follow. Play this out. To see just how far we That's can kind of what it feels like. It's all about playing the long game. When the Empire occupied Moncala, I learned how to string Imperials along. Mount Kala. If you seem harmless, people underestimate you. I spent a lot of time around Imperials. Playing the dumb alien, a bartender, a sweeper, someone safe. Next day, the rebellion would know everything I'd overheard. It wasn't easy, but I learned to stay patient and wait for opportunities. Remember, the Xavian Abyss is no place for the faint-hearted, and Teresa knows a few tricks of her own. Keep your yep. eyes and ears open. I definitely do know that. Right. I definitely will. Alright, we'll start up this mission. 
head hand to the hangar. It look like Frisk and uh, Gray Scat's up in the same. Let's talk to Frisk. So the boss wants to pull the old bait and switch on Teresa. I must be rubbing off on him. <laughs> of course, the key to a good con is selling it. And going into the Xavian Abyss, well, either you're too naive to know better, or you think it's worth the risk. Like, say, stopping a Starhawk from being finished. Teresa Carroll's risking the Abyss just for the chance to destroy some Magnite Crystals. Ain't she in for a surprise? Oh, this she definitely I'm will be. I'm excited to see our Starhawk tackle Teresa's flagship. All those engineers work their tails off to get it finished. Oh yeah. There's one good thing about this new republic. We're finally punching at the same weight as the Empire. One way or another, this is gonna be a show. Oh, it definitely will. It definitely will. All right, Grace. What you got to say before we launch out this mission? I've heard tales of the Xavian Abyss. They say it's swallowed entire fleets without a trace. Sending our brand new Starhawk in there is quite the gamble. Commander Javes must have complete faith in its builders. And in us, of course. We'll be the ones making this ruse work, after all. I took the liberty of studying the Starhawk's blueprints. It's not just another capital ship. It's a defense against Imperial fleets. That's what it's supposed to be built for. Lasers and munitions. But what really caught my eye was the tractor beam. If I understood the blueprints, the Starhawk's tractor beam is ten times more powerful than that of a Star Destroyer. It's incredible. The Magnite crystals they use in the Starhawk's tractor beam are quite rare. I think they salvaged a few from the Star Destroyer we captured. Mm -hmm. My family spent an exorbitant amount of credit sourcing Magnite crystals. It's so gratifying to see them go to a good cause. Let's put our new Starhawk through its paces, shall we? Yeah, we definitely will go. Alright. Anyone else? Before we launch up the mission? Alright. Let's go ahead and prepare for the lunch. You got your choice of mm. fighters for this mission. An X-Wing, Y-Wing, or A-Wing. They've all got pros and cons. Check the schematics and let me know what'll suit you. Hmm. Okay, so we get a little bit of so selecting. We could go for the A wing, the Y wing, or the X wing. I'm feeling more of the X wing, uh, to be honest. So, X wing it is. Alright, here we go. I'm feeling more comfortable with with the uh, X wing, to be honest. I like the A wing, but. It was a little bit of a challenge back in the, uh, through enemy lines, actually. My, I need to learn, still need to learn how to As you can see, drift, but I don't think I'm actually going to be doing that. Ooh, this is going to be a beautiful mission. Now we got word that Teresa Carroll has taken the bait. Her flagship overseer is closing in. Good luck, Vanguard. Protect that convoy. See you on the other side. I was colored, followed the convoy. You can feel it, right? Chaos on every side. We don't belong here. I'd hate to see what does. Hey, what happens once the Starhawk disables the Overseer? The I don't know. Torum, I expect. Board it, lock its systems, and take the crew prisoner. Mm, well, who knows what job has got for us? To be honest. I hate these clouds. Who knows what's out there? We know what's out there. A star destroyer with a captain who wants us dead. Real helpful. Thanks, Gunny. The convoy's droid autopilot ain't smart enough to steer through these asteroids. Then let's blast them a path. Okay, so let's destroy this. Destroyed! Beautiful. Wait, look. A Star Destroyer. 
or what's left of one. I'd say it's been here a long while. You'd think this would discourage Teresa Carroll. To someone like her, that wreckage ain't Oh, shit. It's one more insult. It is a Star Destroyer, but it's the, uh... Things that call it L-A-T, I believe? I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. It's one of the Star Destroyers from the Clone Wars. I do know that. Look lively, Vanguard. Imperial ships are on radar. Scouts. Perfect. The boss's plan is working. Give them a show. Make sure they buy it. Destroy the Imperial Starfighters. I'm in formation. I see him. Right I think us. we can be able to do this. Alright. Yeah, we need to fan the convoy. I'm under fire. Yeah, the more I think about it, I think the X-Wing will be the, the best bet to go for for this mission actually. Trying to keep the balance on powers. Alright, beautiful, beautiful. That wasn't even much of a challenge, to be honest. Well, we still got TIE fighters out there. He just circling the wellness, that's all. Alright, there goes that interceptor. Got tie bombers. Mm, oh, they're behind us, aren't they? Yep, they are. I know. We already got the majority of them out. Alright, all TIE bombers are destroyed. Now we just need to destroy what's the remaining of the TIE. The Imperial Star ships. That's the Interceptor. We okay, we okay. Turn around. We good, we good. That TIE fighter got fucked up. Gunny, what are you doing? Signals breaking up. Let's push on. The ambush point is this way. Ready? Let's go. I'm pretty sure that's what they need to go. It's more get into more deeper into the abyss, actually. Alright, we got to add coordinates. Oh yeah, there's the overseer. Gonna... Finally, we've drawn it in. Nobody panic. This is the plan. Defend the convoy and keep luring the overseer to the ambush point. Alright, so we just need to defend. An Imperial Star Destroyer. Get those asteroids. If the overseer catches the convoy, it's toast. Guess Teresa decided to handle this convoy herself. I'm trying to destroy this asteroid here. Alright, there goes the asteroid. We had to shoot the missiles. Hey, Kuril doesn't even know. Just 
keep them. Just, just continue the, with the plan. This is this is actually really enjoyable right now. <laughs> oh my god, they. She is so dumb. Okay, we're okay. Just a bit of the shield. Who is the? We're okay, we're okay. Destroy the star fighters. Come away somewhere at this point. We are literally are pushing forward. Just move on. We got you. About 1400 meters. That was an A rank. <laughs> Oops. You see that shot? God, um, that's really interesting. I will stay on convoy. I know. Missiles being countered. Oh, the project. It's right there, too. Got some ties over there at Project Starhawk. Okay, just just need to the fight off. Come on, there you are. God, this miss is really fun and really interesting. Halfway. Quill will even know what's behind those walks. And she's gonna be really pissed off once. Oh boy, I just used the freaking flames. <laughs> the encounter. Oh boy. Alright, we got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. Somehow, somehow we counter it, but don't know how, but we got it. Alright, we got to the Starhawk. Alright, we done it. Easy peasy. She's sucked. She's scared. She's like, oh shit. Turn off the engines. Yeah. 
Or the pike will be planning on doing the bleach. They gonna do a jump? Um That was a risky jump, but uh okay. Well, we know the Starhawk works. You toss the overseer around like a loath rat. Good. And lousy Imperials deserve payback with interest. Shall we just build a Yeah, the dialogue you? is off again. Oh, come on, Grace. We're still the good guys. Anyhow we won, right? Wherever they jumped, no ship's coming back from that. Well, let's hope so. I'm pretty sure they destroyed the Overseer somewhat. Cause the Overseer was literally at a was at a asteroid when it jumped. I'm pretty sure it was. Honestly think it was a success. It was a pretty solid mission actually. And we actually managed to get all medals in this mission. W, you have survived the Avilion Abyss in strike. Through the same cannot be said for Joyce Corel's flagship. Double Sears whereabouts are unknown, but the damage is suddenly means Project Starpack is safe. We managed to get pretty much every metal that we can be able to get throughout the story and us in this mission.